It is an icon of the Cambridge skyline that has inspired authors from C.S. Lewis to Stephen Fry. The Cambridge University Library's tower is an Aladdin's cave for book lovers and historians alike. First editions of books such as The Hobbit, Casino Royale, and the famous Five series jostle for shelf space alongside myriad toys, board games, Valentine's cards, pop-up books, and Mr. Men cartoons, which have all found their way into the tower since its completion in 1934. This is an archive of global importance, and the irreplaceable tower collections tell the story of our national life through the printed word. For the very first time, we're giving people a chance to explore the remarkable collections of the tower uh, and to see inside one of the city's most visible yet mysterious landmarks. Described by former Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain as a magnificent erection, the tower was designed by Sir Giles Gilbert Scott, architect of the iconic red telephone box and Battersea Power Station, and became the home of so-called secondary material received under the Copyright Act, which entitles Cambridge University Library to a copy of every book published in the UK since 1710. So Victorian cookbooks and Penguin paperback novels, uh, when they first arrived in the library, were considered of little importance, but time and a changing world have made the ordinary into one of the library's greatest special collections. The library is 600 years old, houses more than 8 million books and periodicals, 1 million maps and many thousands of manuscripts occupying more than 125 miles of shelving, which extends by a further 2 miles every year. The treasures of Cambridge University Library's fabled 17-storey tower collection, chosen from one million volumes, will go on public display together for the first time in a free exhibition, Tall Tales, to be opened by Sebastian Folkes on May the 1st and opening to the public from May the 2nd.